Now we're going to go to the FDNY. Commissioner Dan Nigro says 18 out of the city's 350 units are out of service after hundreds have called out sick. Lisa Evers is live outside a fire station in Midtown with reaction from all sides. Lisa, what are you hearing? Well, Chris, there's a, concerns are growing about a possible shortage of firefighters as the city's vaccination mandate is being enforced. Now, the FDNY commissioner says that all firehouses are remaining open, but not all of the units within them are being staffed. And that understaffing, according to the firefighters union leader, could have an impact on delay time. Now, we've just gotten some new details from fire department sources. As of today, 77% of firefighters are vaccinated. The overall average for the department is at 81 percent, but that includes EMS workers and civilian workers who have a higher rate of vaccination. Now, 2,300 firefighters have called out sick today. That's about two and a half times what the normal daily rate is. And the fire commissioner says, and the sources say, 55 percent of them have yet to receive the vaccine. So more than half of those who called out are not vaccinated. The firefighters union has insisted it only wanted to get have more time in order to get its members vaccinated. Last week, there were about 2,000 members who called out sick, and Commissioner Nigro says they must be in compliance with the mandate. Here's Commissioner Nigro. There are 18 units out of service. There are no firehouses closed. The fire department has 350 units. So uh, let's take that in perspective. And if we went back a month on any given day, we might find 18 units out of service for training, for maintenance, for uh, repair of apparatus and such. But in our contingency plans, we ended all of that so that we would have more availability. Uh, there are understaffed units, and that understaffing could end immediately if members stopped going sick when they weren't sick. I've told my members that if you're scheduled to come into work, come into work. I predicted this catastrophe when this came out, and as of, as of 0600, the department realizes that what they thought they had, they don't have, and they're asking members to stay. So we expect when they figure out what their game plan is, they're going to start letting firefighters home, but as I predicted, they wouldn't be able to pull it off. Now, just how all of this is playing out is really on an hour-by-hour hour basis at this particular point. Today, the City Council Public Safety Committee is taking a close look at what possible impact this could have on New Yorkers. And keep in mind that firefighters were among the first city workers to be eligible to get the vaccine when it first came out. We're live outside a firehouse here in Midtown. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Chris, back to you in the studio. All right, Lisa, thank you very much. We appreciate it.